Hey, what's up guys? Devin here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you six settings that you should consider turning off on your Roku TV. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's start with stopping that remote clicking noise. Disabling remote clicking sounds eliminates the auditory feedback when navigating through menus and channels that reduces unnecessary noise, especially in quiet environments. So this is one of the things that I actually turn off when I get a Roku device. So to do that, simply go to settings here, okay? And then go to audio, all right, right here and then come to menu volume here and then simply come to off right here okay so if you want it really quiet you can go to low but i just turn it off completely so i don't think you can hear the clicking sound anymore it's completely gone and this is really great for those nights when you're watching a movie and you don't want to disturb your neighbors or your roommate next let's talk about personalized ads now you can disable personalized ads to prevent targeted advertising based on your viewing habits now you can do this by again going to settings here okay then come to privacy right here all right and then come to advertising right here and then uncheck personalized ads all right so this will stop those personalized ads from roku however you will still see ads except that they will be less relevant to you so just uncheck that okay and say uh, don't personalize my ads all right now the next tip let's talk about the bandwidth server now you can turn off the bandwidth server if you want to maximize video quality and streaming performance even if it uses more data so this is really useful if you have a very good internet connection and internet speeds are not your problem you're not on a mobile data plan for example and data is not really the issue so to do that go to settings and then come to network here and then come to bandwidth saver down here all right and then just turn it off right here now with this turned off, you have maximum bandwidth for your streaming experience. Right, the next thing that we want to turn off is automatic screen mirroring. You can turn off automatic screen mirroring to prevent unauthorized devices from connecting and casting their devices to your Roku TV. This is useful if you know you're in a home setting and you have siblings that like to disturb you by just randomly casting their devices to the TV. So to turn that off, just come to settings here, okay, and then come to system here, okay, and then come to screen mirroring. Okay, come to screen mirroring mode and then simply turn on never allow. So when a device tries to cast to your TV screen, it will automatically be blocked. All right, the next thing that you may want to turn off is the sleep timer. Now, turning off the sleep timer disables the automatic TV shut off feature, allowing you to control when your TV turns off. Now, keep in mind that this feature is only available on Roku TVs. All right, so to turn off that automatic shutdown feature, come to settings here and then go to system and then select power and then select auto power saving. Now you have two options here. You have reduced power after 15 minutes and then turn off after four hours. So you may want to uncheck the last one, which is turning off after four hours. Again, this feature is only available on Roku Smart TVs, the real TVs. It's not available on a streaming stick. The other feature that you may want to turn off is closed captioning. By default, this is turned on. Now, turning off closed captioning by default allows for clearer display of the on-screen action and aesthetics. And this avoids any potential distractions caused by text overlay of the subtitles. So if that is something you're interested in, come to settings here and then come to accessibility right here. Okay. And then come to captions mode and then just select off right there all right so those are my top six settings that you may wish to turn off on your roku smart tv if you found this video helpful go ahead and give us a like subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one